Morning, it's Friday. Today we're reading from Luke 2, 1 through 5. In those days, a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world shall be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Aquinas was the governor of Syria. All went into their own towns to be registered. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth to Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. They may have been expecting a child, but they weren't expecting at the beginning of her pregnancy to have to take this journey. It was a decree that came after she was pregnant, we imagine. And it was a huge deal to take this journey, some nine days and so many miles and uh, over mountains and, and in late-term pregnancy, uh, a great mix. And we may understand that because there are times in our lives when we take journeys we don't want to take. Uh, we might be in circumstances uh, that we are angry or upset or disappointed about in our walk of life. Not that we could imagine how that's happening right now. But um, there are times when we're disappointed and when in those midst of those journeys, we sometimes feel abandoned by God and confused by why we're having to go through all this. The good news that we need to remember today is that God often, uh, our, God's good work arises out of some of these journeys we don't want to take. God has a way of wringing good from disappointment, suffering, and pain. I think of what is really important to me. Uh, more so than I would have before all of this pandemic stuff came down. What is, uh, what are the tasks that are really important to do? Who are the people that are important to be in touch with? What is the work that God is calling me to do? All of these have become sharper in focus as longer that we are uh, distancing ourselves from one another and honoring the restrictions that we are um, abiding by. We don't want to do it. We surely don't want to do it, but we are doing it. And we trust that God is working through those circumstances and in this time. So let us pray. Lord, thank you for the way you bring good from suffering. Please help us to remember that you promise never to leave us or forsake us. Bring in good from the adversity in my life and grant me your peace when I take these journeys I don't want to take. Amen.